In this video, I'll go over defensive systems for the Apache. First, I'll go over the countermeasures dispensers. So if you click on your Apache in the mission editor and you click on the blue button, you can adjust the flare settings here. So you can set the burst count and interval and the salvo count and interval and the program delay. So every time a flare program runs, it has a certain amount of salvos and bursts. So for example, if I had two salvos and three bursts, then basically the first salvo would shoot out three flares with uh, 0.1 seconds apart and then the second salvo would do the same thing three flares 0.1 seconds apart and the salvos here would be one second apart and that all is one program and if the program needs to run again it would wait this amount of time before running again so the reason i'm showing you he this here is because you cannot change the flare program settings using the screens in the cockpit you have to change them in the mission editor or you can set them on the ground which i'll show you and by the way, these flare settings here are the settings that are used if you are doing a manual flare release or a programmed flare release. And I'll show you that later. So if you want to set the flare settings on the ground, you need to open the kneeboard by holding right shift on your keyboard and clicking K. And then you can use these keybinds here. So for example, right shift, right alt, and one would adjust the flare burst count. Now I'll go over the countermeasures in the Apache. The countermeasures panel is controlled right here, and the Apache can take chaff and flare. So you can see your chaff and flare count here. Make sure that you have it powered on with this switch, and you cannot control how many chaff and flare you bring. It is only 60 flare and 30 chaff, no matter what. So you can adjust the brightness right here, and you control it with these switches. So you can use this to arm the countermeasures dispenser, and you can use this to adjust the flare dispensing mode to automatic, or bypass. So if you have it on bypass, then you need to click the flare button to dispense your flare program. And if you have it on automatic, then the flares will be controlled by the common missile warning system. And I'll talk about that later. And the other flare control here is this switch, which you can use to jettison all of your flares. So to dispense chaff, you use this button and for flares, you use this button. And by the way, you cannot dispense chaff and flare when you're on the ground. So once you have it armed and set to bypass, and once you are in the air, you can press the flare dispense button to dispense your flares. And you can see it activates my program, which I had set for two flares. Now to dispense your chaff, even if it's armed, you also need to arm it from your screen. So you click the weapon button and you click ASC, and you need to click the chaff button to arm and you can set it to program or manual. And if you have it set to manual, if you click the chaff dispense button, it releases one chaff bundle. And if you have it set to program, if you click the chaff release button, it will be based on your chaff program, which is adjusted here. So you click utility and you can see your chaff program here and it works similarly to how the flare program does. So you have burst count, interval, and salvo count and salvo interval. And also in the utility page, you can click this button and enter the number in the keyboard to tell the computer how many chaff cartridges you have. So if I click my chaff button now, you can see it activates the program. That was basically how the chaff and flare countermeasure dispensers work. Now let me go over the other defensive systems. So the next defensive system is the RLWR, which is the radar laser warning system. So this is a system that can detect radar waves and also lasers and show you where they are. So what the way you go to this system is basically you click weapon like we did earlier and click ASC and it's all controlled here. We have the chaff controls like I showed you earlier, but you can also click the utility button and make sure the RLWR is powered on right here. And you can see the RLWR voice, so you can set it to normal or terse. So basically, whenever you get a threat, it'll tell you the type of threat and what direction it is and what the current mode is, like if it's tracking or searching or what it's doing. So if you have it on normal mode, then every time the lethality updates, it'll tell you the full threat. Like if it goes from searching to tracking, it'll tell you the whole threat again, the type of threat, direction, and lethality. But if you have it set to terse, then whenever the lethality updates, it will not run the whole voice, uh, voice command again. It'll just say the lethality. So if I have it set to terse, if it detects an SA6 for the first time, it'll go through the whole thing, SA6, two o'clock searching or whatever. But the neck when the SA6's lethality updates to tracking, if it's set to terse, it'll just say tracking. It won't say the whole thing again, SA6, six o'clock, whatever. So that's how the voice 
button works. So your threats will show up on your ASC page here and you can click this button for the auto page. So what the auto page does is that if a threat exceeds one of these settings, it'll automatically bring up your navigation display and it'll overlay the threat onto it. So off is off. If you have it to search, this is basically the most sensitive mode. So even if a threat just appears on your display, even if it's not tracking or anything, even just from appearing on your display, it'll activate the auto page. And then it has acquisition and track. I'm not sure what exactly these do because it didn't exactly explain it very much in depth in the manual. So I'm assuming that acquisition would be if something is trying to get a lock on you and if tracking is if something is currently locked or tracking you. So let me demonstrate this for you now. I'm gonna bring up random pages and I'm gonna fly over to a threat. So I'm going to fly over to a T72 which has a ranging laser and once the system detects the laser it's going to activate the auto page and bring up my screen. And by the way you can control the volume of the warning system with this knob here, RLWR. So as you can see, when the laser turned on, the auto page brought up my TSD, and you can see the threat symbol right here. And I'll put a picture in the video that shows all the different threat symbols. And the TSD also has its own setting. So if you go to show and threat show, you can activate ASC threats. So the way that this works is that if you have it enabled, it will show you threats that are detected by the warning system and you can disable it. But keep in mind, even if it's disabled, the auto page will still work. So even if I have it disabled and no threats are showing, if I have a auto page set up, so like if I have my auto page to track if there's a target that exceeds that track threshold then it'll still show up on my map here anyways it'll just ignore whatever this setting is so next let's go over the missile warning system so the missile warning system detects missile launches around the helicopter and it will have a little light that comes on here that shows the general direction of the missile now the missile warning system also has its own audio with the warning system i talked about earlier the rlwr its audio ran through this channel right here rlwr but the missile warning system runs through the same audio channel that the radio nav ADF system does. So if you adjust the ADF no knob right here, this ADF knob also controls the volume for the missile warning system. And that's what the audio switch is. You can set the audio to nav and you'll hear Morse code from radio stations, or you could set it to CMWS if you want to hear missile warnings. So basically when someone fires a missile at you, you'll get a audio warning and it'll show the direction the missile is coming from. And it can run your flares. If you have the flares set to bypass, then you can only dispense flares manually. But if you have it set to auto, then once it detects a missile launch, it'll automatically dispense flares for you. I'm going to fly over to a man pads and have it shoot at me so I can show you what it looks like. Missile, missile, so as you can see, it automatically detected the missile launch and it told me what direction it was coming from and it dispensed flares for me. Now just a reminder that whatever you have your flare program set to will be used for the missile warning system and for manual flare dispensing. So since I had my flare program set to dispense two flares per program, as you can see when the missile launch was detected it was firing double flares each time. Now something to keep in mind is that the missile warning system is not able to tell if it's a friendly or hostile missile and any missile launch will set it off. So even if you're hovering next to other Apaches and you're all firing missiles, every single time a missile is fired it will activate the missile warning system and dispense flares. So because of that, most of the time in DCS if you're going to be flying with other helicopters, you don't want to have it set to automatic mode because it is just going to waste all your flares super quickly. The main time you might want to have it in automatic mode is if you're flying alone in the middle of nowhere and you're not sure if there's man pads or anything out there, you might want to have it set to automatic in case you get shot at and you don't see where it's coming from. But if you're flying with other Apaches and they're shooting missiles and you have it set to auto, then it's going to waste your flares very quickly. Another thing I want to go over for defensive systems is having threat rings on your TSD. If you go to your TSD and click the show button and go to threat show and click threats, you can actually have rings come on around your threats. And these threats basically come in from the mission editor. and basically if it's a yellow ring 
If you're within that ring, then it can detect you, and within the red ring, it can fire weapons at you. So that might be something you want to have turned on. And if you can't see your targets, it might be because you're in the nav phase, so you need to click this to go to attack phase. So the last thing I want to go over with the defensive systems is if you are in the front seats in the George AI menu, if you... I already have a video for George AI, but really quickly, if you left click on the George AI controls and go to the CMWS mode, you can control the missile warning system from the front seat. So you can click it forward to safe and arm the system, and you can click it backwards to go from auto to bypass. And you can also dispense chaff and flare from the front seat. So you use the same chaff and flare dispense keybinds. That was defensive systems for the Apache. They check out the video and I'll see you later.